Welcome to Marek's Mediocre Masterpieces, the show where I recreate a masterpiece in just 15 minutes using my paint set. Hello art lovers, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be painting Andrew Wyeth's Christina's World, a painting that I saw about 10 years ago in New York and I liked it so much I, I bought a, my own print of it. So let's hope this Andrew Wyeth doesn't turn into a Andrew, why on earth? Good luck everyone. Andrew Wyeth was a realist. What, someone who tells you when you grow up you can't be an astronaut? Um, no, not that sort of realist. A painter who would paint things as they were in real life. Andrew Wyeth's son's a painter and his Dad was an illustrator who made his money illustrating Treasure Island. When I first saw this photo, I remember thinking, what is going on? It looks like a horror story. I told you, Christina, don't go and visit that house on the hill. I would avoid that at all costs. Forrest Gump, you, you live on the house on the hill? Yes, sir, I do. And I have limited accent ability. In real life, Andrew Wyeth painted all of his pictures between his holiday home in Maine and in Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. This is Christina who isn't escaping from the house. She lives in the house. And unfortunately in real life, she had a disease which meant she wasn't able to walk properly. She had to pull herself around the house using her hands. But I think it's quite nice if you just imagine what you like with this picture. You're gonna do the grass? Yeah. I'm going to go really bold and mix this up. Look at this mixing. Browns, greens. You thought this would work, did you? Oh, God. What glow in the dark grass. What season is that? Terrible grass season, more like. How do you expect me to paint a thousand blades of grass? Christina, have you um been out on the grass again? Yeah. Why are there brown stains all over your dress? That's the colour of the grass. Really? Yes, it is. Look outside. Five minutes. What happens in the barn? I'm not going to tell you what happens in the barn, but I know the barn is not quite as black as you've just painted it. A tractor. Track is that? Yes, it is. And the wheels go further and further apart. Three minutes, 16. What's this then, Marek? A comb? What are you doing? The grass effect. You can tell you've not used a comb in 20 years. It actually isn't that bad. Who cares anymore? 1 minute 58. My mum said to me, the first thing people look at is your shoes. So try and get Christina's shoes right, would you? Get some of the strands of hair flowing in the wind. Not that much of a strand. It was windy in this picture, all right? Just in time to do a hand that looks like bananas. Make the house look a bit more like a house with seconds left. Gonna go and, and it... Well, there it is. One comb that looks like someone's had an accident on it, which is probably of more value than the picture. And there we have Christina's world. And here we have Marek's comb over. The first use of the pioneering comb technique. So let's set a starting price on this for 14 pence. I know, a bit steep. Links to the eBay below and to the paints I've bought and to the Buy Merrick Lauder Coffee Fund. And thank you to everyone who has. Next time, my friends, is the final one in this first series. And for that, I'm going to paint a self-portrait. I would love it if you sent me your self-portraits. If you don't want to paint a picture of yourself, you can paint one of me. And I sort of look forward and don't look forward to seeing those. Thanks for watching and happy painting. Bye. Should fail. So tell me, tell me, what can I do? My hair is gone because of all the stress about the crystal.
that, please? Can you help me? Please tell me what can I do? Use the comb to paint all the pressure on the house and stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's what, what I'm gonna do. Shut up, 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 shut up